Hi guys, it's Richard here, aka the Longshot King, and I want to do a short video for you today, uh, just to show you one of the uh, the methods that I'm putting into a new report. Uh, the report's called Upgrade Downgrade: Picking Easy Winners. Um, so, what I want to do, um, I just want to come over here. I'm in SportingLife.com at the moment, and I'm in the race card section. And I've selected a race that I'm interested in today. It's this four o'clock at Lingfield. It's a Phillies Handicap Class 5 over seven furlongs. So I'm going to open up the race card. <clears throat> and I'm just going to scroll down so you can see the card. And over here, you can see that it's a seven furlong handicap and it's a Class 5, uh, which is one of the interesting points. And this is just a, a sort of a simple method that I use to try and find value uh, within uh, handicap races, particularly races where you've got between 8 to 12 runners. So I've already done an analysis of this earlier. Um, and basically what I want to um, look at is, first of all, here we have 7 to 4, uh, the favourite here, Mount Juliet. And second in in the betting is this one, Mary's Pet, um, it's, uh, it's 100 to 30. Basically, you know, Mount Juliet at 7 to 4 looks really, really short to me. Um, and Mary's Pet um, at 100 to 30, again, uh, looks pretty short. So what I did, I went through and uh, I did an, an analysis of the, uh, of the runners. Now, the way that I do this, let me just go down. And I come down to this area here called Form Watch. And what I do, I do a very quick scan of the, of the runners. I look at the, uh, you know, the, the last run. Uh, so this information is the last run of each horse. And I look at the, uh, the distance that the horse run over. I look at the, uh, the grade uh, that the, the horse is running and also the, uh, the class of the race. So, uh, as I said, Mount Juliet is too short for me. Mary's Pet, again, at 100 to 30 is short. Now, the three that I picked out here were this one, the Giuletta da Vinci, this one, Kingston Acacia, and this one here, Slazi. If we just read the, the, the comments here, um, so we've got Brokewell, soon held up towards rear, headway to chase leaders over two furlongs out, ran on, never reached a winner, Second of eight beaten four lengths. Its, uh, its last run was over course and distance, and it was in a class six claimer, so it's upgraded today. The next one is Kingston Acacia. Uh, so led wide into straight, two furlongs out, ridden and headed, headed inside the final furlong, kept on second of 13, two lengths behind Lizza Hainbog. Again, this is at Lingfield over course and distance. It was in a 0 to 60 handicap and again class 6, so this one is also um, upgraded. And then the last one I looked at, which, which I shortlisted, was this was called Slazi. Uh, led, hard ridden and headed over a furlong out, weakened final furlong, 5th of 10, 6 lengths behind Dream on Buddy. Again, it was over the course, but this one's a bit more interesting, it's over a mile. Um, so, looking at the comments, Led, hard ridden and headed over a furlong out. Um, it looks like this one will uh, actually appreciate the step down. In Let's go and have a look at the, uh, at the next one. We talked about Kingston Acacia. Now this one's only had the four runs, so it's got to be open to some improvement. Let's take a look. So you see, uh, first run was in a class five at Lingfield, only beaten six and a quarter lengths see here <clears throat> uh, next run was 6 of 14 at Kempton in a class 5 um, again you know beaten 10 lengths and then the next run its third run um, in a maiden was 9th of 16 in a class 4 but, but reasonably well beaten now they then dropped it in grade um, and it's basically finished 2nd of 13 in a class 6 we can see here only beaten two lengths so it's got a rating of 60 so it's probably capable of winning off that mark let's just actually take a look at its mark today let's see what it's off of today okay it's running off of 62 so it's gone up a couple of pounds for its last run which 
which could be a little bit harsh. Um, I just want to take you over to Odds Checker. Let's just have a look at Kingston Acacia because I know that it's uh, it's already been back today. So you see here, um, if we look at Kingston Acacia here on on Odds Checker, um, it's it's been it's been cut by all of the bookmakers. Uh, if you can see the blue here, this means that the the odds are shortening. You can see down here. So you know, even though Kingston Acacia has been back today, um, I'm I'm not not really happy that it's gone up a couple of pounds in the handicap. So let's uh, let's go back to Sporting Life, and let's take a look at this one, Giulietta Da Vinci. <clears throat> now this one's had ten runs. It's already won a couple of races, and it's finished second once. So um, could be quite interesting. Let's just go to its maiden form um, first. So it finished first run six for 13 in a class four, only beaten four lengths, or just under five lengths. Then fifth of 13 in a five, so it was downgraded, still run a very good race, only beaten uh, three and a quarter lengths. And then next time up, um, first of 10 at Leicester in a seven furlong maiden and you know there it was well backed back from 11 to 4 into 2 to 1 and then after its three maiden runs it was uh, it was given a rating of 75 now if you look at this it finished 9th for 14 off of 75 um, and then 10th for 14 off of 72 so i think that's pretty clear that that rating is, is going to be too high for that horse. Um, so let's just go on a little bit further down the form line. If we come to this race on the 14th of November, let's just check, uh, just let me see what that was. So that was a claimer, um, and basically um, it was running off a mark of 70 and first of 11 at Lingfield over a mile. Um, let's just have a look at the, the comments there because winning. Over over course over a mile. Let's have a look. In touch headway on the inside to track lead the two furlongs out, led a furlong out, ridden clear. So this one definitely needs, I think, a little bit further than seven furlongs, but I think looks looks quite interesting. Let's go back to the profile. So after it won the race at Lingfield, um, it ran a couple of times. Uh, once at Wolverhampton, uh, four for four, and then again at Savile, fifth of six, both in the same grade, uh, both in class six. And then, then it had a break. Um, now it's come back, and it's first run back this season, back at Lingfield, second of eight, over today's trip of seven furlongs. Let's just have a look at the comments in running. So, Broke well, soon held up towards rear, headway to chase the leaders over two furlongs out, ran on, never reached the winner. Now this looks interesting. It's got good form over the over the course. It's got certainly gonna stay seven furlongs, probably it definitely needs further. You can see that from the uh, from the comments. So I think that this looks interesting if it's a value price. So let's go and take a look at odds checker. I'm just going to close that window and we'll go back over to Odds Checker. And here we go, Gioletta da Vinci. Now, for me, this looks really, really interesting. Um, 14 to 1, biggest price with Victor Chandler. Um, 12 to 1 in a place, 10 to 1 in a place. And you can see here, uh, 888 sport.com blue square and betfred the horse has already been backed um, has come into 11 to 1 so for me i think that this looks value tremendous value against uh, certainly against mount juliet which i think is is too short so um, i hope you enjoyed that i hope you uh, you can understand the, the the sort of the tactics there looking and, and trying to find something that's uh, a bit bigger price and a bit better value all right cheers guys see you now